Walt Disney dog who has been watching all of this. What's his name? Pluto. Pluto. That is the story. That is your imagination. That is the associations. And now comes the test. Can you remember it? I am not going to tell you the planets. I'm going to sculpt what I did. And when you can see it again, when you can imagine that person, that character, then you say the name of the planet. Are you ready? Yeah. We have the sun. And then we have... Mercury. Brilliant. And then we have... Venus. Perfect. And then we have... Earth. And then we have... Hundred percent. <laughs> and then we have... Jupiter. And then we have... Saturn. And then we have... Uranus. And then we have... And finally we have... <laughs> well done! Brilliant! Now there is a special, special rule in memory and using your brain and that is that once you've got the information in which you now have, it's in your brain and it will stay there but it will stay there more strongly if you say it again, if you imagine it again. So this time, I am not going to act it. I'm just going to go one, two, two, a little bit faster to give your brain some good exercise. And you say the names of the planets in order. We have the sun. Are you ready? We have the sun. Then we have. Brilliant. Give yourself a hand. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> Tony Bazan is known internationally as the biggest name in memory. So how does he fare when forced to put his own memory techniques into practice? In a recent edition of Blue Peter, he took up the challenge. That would be Carrie. And it is Carrie the cat. Did you get that at home, everybody? In just over one hour, the children who filled the Royal Albert Hall have acquired an invaluable learning skill which will stay with them for the rest of their lives. And just as importantly, they have discovered that learning the Tony Bazan way can be fun. Okay, so what you've learned today is that mind maps are without doubt the king of memory technique. Um, they have you organize all your information on a single page and with the help of colour, pictures and branches, it makes it so much easier to remember. Um, and if any of you want to find out more handy hints on memory techniques, then all you need to do is look out for Tony's new book, which is Mind Maps for Kids, Max Your Memory and Concentration. And there are also mind maps to help you with subjects um, in the back of your uh, Collins Revision Guide, the information of which is in your packs. So I'd like to say a very big thank you to you guys. You've been a fantastic audience, very loud, which is what I like. Of course, a very big thank you.